And President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris have begun putting together a team to take over the reins of the government on January 20th, while President Trump is making some personnel changes of his own. Natalie Brand has the latest from Wilmington, Delaware. In his first act as president-elect, Joe Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris met virtually with their newly formed coronavirus task force. It's time to end the politicization of basic responsible public health steps like mask wearing and social distancing. While the Biden-Harris team prepares for the transition, the government agency that oversees the formal process has yet to sign the letter needed to provide office space and funding. President Trump's team insists the election is not over. We're going to go and pursue all of these legal means, all of the recount methods. We're going to continue exposing and investigating all these instances of fraud or abuse. On Monday, President Trump also announced the firing of Defense Secretary Mark Esper. In a tweet, the president said he's being replaced by Christopher C. Miller, the director of the National Counterterrorism Center. This comes around 70 days before the new administration begins. Here in Wilmington, Delaware, where Biden's name and presence are everywhere, including the train station, there's a feeling of hope that Biden can bring back a sense of bipartisanship. We used to ride the train together. Former Delaware Congressman Tom Evans, a Republican, says he voted for Biden. I think he can bring, bring the country together. I think he can help unite this country. Locals describe Mr. Biden as a friendly face in the community, from local restaurants to the market near his home. Overall, I think there's a source of pride. One of their own has now ascended to the presidency, coming from such a small state. And they're cheering him on as he prepares to move to the White House. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Wilmington, Delaware. The Trump campaign has filed an appeal in their Michigan case that was dismissed last week. But for now, it's not being accepted by the court. And measures to legalize marijuana in five states got major victories in last week's election. Arizona, New Jersey, South Dakota, Montana, and Mississippi legalized some form of marijuana use. South Dakota became the first state whose voters approved both recreational and medical cannabis in the same election. Medical marijuana also was made legal in Mississippi and New Jersey, Montana, and Arizona all legalized recreational cannabis. And high winds and pouring rain battered South Florida today as Tropical Storm Ada crept along the coast. Cars were stuck in flooded streets in Miami's business center and tens of thousands of households were left without power. The storm has already left over 150 people dead and over 100 missing in Central America. Ada is forecast to become a hurricane again as it moves into the Gulf of Mexico. It's expected to make landfall in Florida again late this week somewhere along the Gulf Coast. And if you've used a site like Hotels.com or Expedia to book a hotel in the past few years, your personal information might be at risk. We have the details next on Valley News Live at 4.